Hey everyone, this is Clever Pelta from Release Team, and today I'll be talking through one of Confluence's newest features, cards. So before I get started with some hands-on demos, let's talk about what cards are. Cards are a way to organize and display interactive content on your page. They're ideal for highlighting key information in a visually appealing way or presenting a collection of related items. There's two types of cards, manual and dynamic cards. I'll talk through and walk through the use cases for both. Let's start with uh, manual cards. Manual cards let you choose specific links, text, and images to display within the cards. So to add a card on your Confluence page, there's two ways to do this. You can either press this plus bu button on your toolbar, cards, and choose this cards feature, or you can go and you can do backslash cards. So this comes, this brings up the cards widget, with some generic cards. So we'll, we'll be modifying these. You can have as many cards as you want on one page. But for this example, we're going to use three. Personally, I think best practices for a card display is to leave them as stacked. A lot of users won't have the patience or see the little arrows that show up on the side of the cards whenever you have more than three or four that appear in the screen at the same time. So I have found it best to choose the stacked option as your display. Uh, we're going to align these center. And I want to create some Confluence cards that highlight some of the external links that we have that we use in release team within our company. So for this first card, I am going to link to our home page. So I'm going to paste my home page link onto here. And as you can see, Confluence Cards has automatically changed the image thumbnail to one that was pulled from the website. I'll add an additional description here to make sure that people know that this is the release team home page. And we have just created our first card. I'm going to update the second card with our YouTube channel. So I'm going to go and paste in the URL for our YouTube channel. It has pulled a thumbnail in, but the description and the title are quite, kind of lacking. So I'll make sure to type in the fact that this is our YouTube page, our YouTube channel. And for our last one, I want to link to our Atlassian Solution Partner page. So as you can see here, we didn't really pull a thumbnail from the website here, which is not a problem. You can choose one of the images from the Unsplash image service, or we can choose a, a upload a pic an image from our computer that we would want to see. So we can upload an image from our computer that we would want to use if we don't have one pulled up. So I'll update the title here. And we have created a static card. So for me, the best use cases for static cards are internal or external links that won't change too much. Let's say you want to create more of a dashboard view with dynamic content generated from your Confluence page. For example, let's say I'm a supervisor or some type of manager within my team, and I want to see all the updates that our team members have been making to certain pages or to our blogs. So let's create a few examples from that for that. So I'm going to click on plus, type in cards, and I'll click on this edit button here. I will scroll up and pick the dynamic feature. And then we'll build a dynamic card we're now presented with this screen that has a few drop downs where we can create our own filters 
to auto dynamically generate the content that's displayed on the card. So I'm going to click on owner and then click myself and I'll make sure to only click on, I just want to see pages or blogs that were updated in the past 30 days. So I can click on confirm here. I've confirmed my filters and I've automatically created a dynamic card on my page. I want to display a few more cards here. So I'm going to change my size to small since many of these don't have a thumbnail since they're only Confluence pages with words. And I can increase the amount of cards to like, let's say 10. Okay. So let's say I want to add some cards that show me all the latest blog posts within my entire Confluence instance. I'll create another set of cards, click on the edit button again, and then I'll go to dynamic. I'll click on the build dynamic cards button, and then I will click on content type. And instead of just doing all, I will click on blog posts. As you can see here, we now have all the latest blog posts we have posted in our instance. So that's some of the better use cases I have seen for cards. I really like it for this management board type of idea. I could really use some headings here. So I'll add some headings just to make the visibility a little better. And just so I can add some context on my cards. So there we go. Let me know how you have used cards on your Confluence instance down in the comments below. Thank you for watching it and making it.